Good afternoon, folks. Uh, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. Um, as I survey things that I've planted, I always try to keep an eye out for pests and things um, that I am aware of. And my garlic was doing super well. I have a couple varieties that just look great, but all of them have a have signs of Allium leaf miner. And um, it's a fairly new pest here in Maryland. And it's one of the reasons I didn't know about it. I haven't grown garlic in several, several years. And it's, uh, I think it just started coming around here in the last three years or so. Um, so I wasn't aware of it, but apparently it is something that we have here now in central Maryland. And some of my garlic looks horrible. Um, and some looks great. All of them have t signs, so this is the horrible stuff. So we're gonna dig one of these up and see what we can find. All of them have signs of it. These little stippling dots, I don't know if you can see that. That's the sign of the Allium leaf miner, and it affects all the Alliums, um, leeks, onions, uh, garlic, so I'm gonna be on the lookout for it. And they are probably right now um, burrowing into the, the bulb, which is probably why these look bad. And, um, and then in September, they, cut, they fly. And so you really have to watch your crops then. Um, I will be harvesting these before then and I will not put anything back in this bed. Um, I will probably solarize this bed just to be sure that there's nothing <laughs> overwintering in the soil. I will probably not plant anything else. Once the squashes here are done, the whole bed will get solarized and I just will cook it um, to make sure they're not in the soil. And I will not replant garlic in this bed again. And I will likely wait until we've had freezing temperatures before I plant garlic this fall. So I'll just store my garlic in the fridge until then. Um, Cause I don't want, so I think what happened is I got my garlic earlier than I expected and I went ahead and put it in so I, cause I didn't want it to um, sprout or anything. And it did, some of them did sprout, which I think is the problem. So, um, so they all got kind of, it was like a big flag up in the air for them. Um, so I'm kind of bummed about that because it's a pest that I wasn't, one, I wasn't prepared for, and two, didn't even, <laughs> didn't even know about. So if you're in Maryland and you haven't grown garlic in a while, or this is your first time growing it, you may come across this issue. Um, and uh, you can cover them during the flight times. I believe that's what they recommend doing. So um, had I known that, I would have, definitely covered them last fall. I cut, they all got covered with a tarp, but that was after the flight season in September. So it's late September, I think when they fly. So anyway, um, so I'm going to pull one of these out. I'm going to sacrifice a bulb and see what we have. Oh, I mean, they were bul bulbing up pretty well. That's pretty nice for this time of year. My other garlic is huge. I mean, like way big. This is super tiny um, compare, comparatively speaking. The other issue we could have had on these is rust, but which um, I did see some signs of rust on these. So that's kind of like a sign of rust, an old, it's old rust. Um, but so it could be a combination of things that happened here. Um, no, look at that. That's all feeding damage. You see that? It's all feeding damage from something, and it's a it's a leaf miner essentially. And what it does is it, yep, there they are. I don't know if you're going to be able to to see the little bugger. Yep. Oh man, it's so tiny. But that's it, that's the culprit. 
He's tiny. <laughs> oh man. Let me see if I can get it on my knife. Oh, I popped him out. Dang it. I'm sure there's more in here. Yep, there's another one. Oh, they're everywhere. Oh, geez. <laughs> yeah, this one's really infested. So. Oh, come on, buddy. He doesn't want to get off there. Look how tiny that is. But there are bunches of them. How small. Itty bitty. So, um, that's a bummer. So I'll probably lose all of these garlics. Um, and definitely I'm going to be pulling everything. I mean, they're usually ready in, in summer anyway. They're not, they don't usually last that long. So I'll be pulling everything and I will not be planting them again in this bed. That's really a bummer. Um, but yeah, if you see the same thing, I mean, you can kind of see the damage. They're everywhere all in this, um, and they just tear it up. So initially what they do is they feed on the leaves and do that little stippling pattern on the leaves. And then you go farther, they, they burrow into the, um, there's another one. They burrow into the, oh my goodness. <laughs> Look at all of them there. All the little yellow spots, that's the leaf miner caterpillar. Um, what a bummer. So uh, just, um, just keep an eye out and I'm gonna keep a close watch on all the rest of these garlics. Hopefully they'll all head up just fine and um, you know, I won't have this issue um, with them. I mean, I think what happens is they eventually, yeah, see they get and he, this guy is pupating. There's one pupating. He's right there. He's a little bit different color. That's what happens when they go to pupate. Um, see all the damage? Look at it all in here. Yep. So this guy's done and he's going to wait until September. He'll, he'll come out and fly again, I think. As far as I understand the life cycle, I've got to do a little bit more research, but well, that is such a bummer. Um, and I, I'm really sad about my garlic. I was so looking forward to having garlic <laughs> from my own garden. Um, it looks okay. Well, see, they keep, they get in. This is, I peeled back. It hasn't, uh, cloved out yet, but there's another one. So they get all the way in and really just completely tear it up. Such a bummer. So anyway, um, that's my first major pest of the year. Uh, but yeah, there, it's, um, this is the time when, when pests start coming out and you start seeing more and more things. And, um, so just keep a close eye on your plants. And, uh, if you can companion plant, if it works for certain things that there's nothing that I can companion plant with this to keep it away, unfortunately. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just gonna pull all these, uh, the rest of these, cause I don't, oh, that bulb just stayed in there. It was so rotten, it just stayed on, in the ground. Um, anyway, so yeah, just keep a close eye on your, on your um, stuff and, if you see issues, try to get the, get to them quickly because you're you're more likely to be able to um, address them if um, if you get to them fast. Uh, sometimes, though, you're, there's nothing you can do. Like in this case, oh look, that's a nice one. That was going to be a really nice garlic. Totally, that's a bummer. Look at that. It even already started to clove out. And they split it. See what they did? Buttheads. Anyway, that's all I've got. Have a great day. Catch you outside.